I'm recording right now. Okay. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Baby Donnie here. Oh, you caught me packing for Capcom. <laughs> Have you guys packed for Capcom? Well, if you haven't yet, I'm going to give you some little tips and advice. <laughs> you should pack. You're all red. I don't know why. You're like it's washing. It's because I have a red shirt on. It's like reflecting. No, no. Your it's face is lights. totally red. I don't no. know why. I think you're embarrassed because everyone can see your closet, which is not messy in it's, any way. It it's like messy. so neat. It's so messy. It's messy. Okay. So. Okay. I hope everyone's packed for Capcom because it's going to be Tuesday when this video releases. No. So first off. Apologize, been traveling around a lot and really haven't had time to film anything about this. But hopefully, we could throw this in last minute. Hopefully, it'll help you out a little bit. So, to a much further ado, let me start <laughs> with what I would think that is good to pack. Now, I like oh, starting out with like cute. pajamas. These have, uh, this is a two piece, so they have pants that match them. I'll pull these out. That one's so this cute. You from... look like a sailor. I know. I love these. But I found them like, I think it was Bruce Willis that was uh, advertising for these on some sort of like, like oh. ad. Oh. And I was like, oh no, it was on the news. They were showing Bruce Willis with his <laughs> family and everyone was in matching pajamas. And I was like, <laughs> and they put a link up and I was like, oh, let me look at this company. I, it's, uh, oh, here it is. Leverett. Oh, okay. And I got the extra large, and these are like a tight large, especially if you're wearing a diaper. Yeah. It's a very what? much so. A diaper? Yeah, because if you're going to Capcom, Chicago Age Players Convention, yeah. And unless you're not a baby. Wait, then... is this so? Is it a thing for like people who are incontinent? What diapers? Yeah. No, um, this Capcom thing you're going to. Oh. <laughs> No, you don't have to be a con, but it's <laughs> but you fun are. to pretend. Yeah, you're not even diapered right now. No. You have on a super cute little Yeah, I'm about to head out to the gym after this video, and I didn't want to waste a diaper, so I was like, you know, let me just put something cute on. Yeah. So. It's cute. Here. So yeah, I'll start out with like normally one set of pajamas. Yeah. Because I'll wear them over and over again. You bring another set, but mind you, you have to think of a couple things. Are you going to pay for a checked bag? And if you right. are, then yeah, you could bring like maybe two, I would say bring two sets of different things because you, you might go shopping while you're over there. You're definitely going to go shopping. Like who yes. is not going to go shopping? And you have the opportunity to go shopping in all these little places and show off your cute outfits and see your friends. Then I mean, come on! Like, why are you going? <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so there's different things. Like, so I say pajamas. Um, put that right over there. Okay. Onesies. These are a very important thing to have. Are you gonna bring that one? I think I will bring this one, and then I just got a blue one mm -hmm. from ABU as well. Yeah. Look at the. This is a medium, and yeah. this is an extra small. What? The extra small is bigger than the medium. That's crazy. Isn't that wild? Yeah. So, so they... this one was bought maybe about two, three years ago. Yeah. Granted, it also had been washed a bunch of times, so it has shrunken up. But this had never fit. This is this well. Like, this, cool. I don't, I don't know. But ABU, you're doing a good job of uh, your clothing. So I would say bring at least... Two, maybe even four different options, uh, depending on if you're going to be in soggy diapers for a long time. You might leak. It's important to have backups you're just gonna in leak. case. You're going to leak if no one's checking your diaper. Very true. And also just trying to remember, like, when you're packing diapers, like, you may not even have to pack any. If you want to, if you're going to afford them there. and pay, yeah, to buy them there or if yeah. you pre order them. Yeah. They will be there waiting for you. And yeah. you just pick them up and go to your room. I think that's a good idea. I will say I'll pack uh here, stay with me. I will pack some uh just in case um I like uh, get there late, like say your flight's delayed and oh no and you can't check you can't in or you can't get them. <laughs> so yeah. bring at least I'd say at least two. 
with yeah. you. I'm bringing that with a booster pad. Um, I'm. I get apprehensive to wear on an airplane, mm -hmm. but I have done it before. If you do decide to do that, mm -hmm. I my best advice would say go in dry. Put them on. Right. You put them on like as soon as you get there to the airport. There's bathrooms before you go through security. Put one on and then walk through security. The wetness won't really or show up. Show on up. Thing. Or just um, what do you call it? Um, just. Put it on after security. Yeah, that's even <clears throat> better too. Yeah. I mean, I I know I like the scariness and the thrill and like oh, embarrassment. Okay. Got it. So that's kind of hot. Yeah. But um, yeah, it does get embarrassing. I have been taken to the back for further examination before, where I had to pull out my pants. But it was everyone was cool. <laughs> no one like freaked out on me or anything. Right. It just, uh, you just have to smile and be like, oh well, like hey, this is eh, this yeah. is me. Uh, that would make a great, like, scene to film. You know what I mean? Oh, oh my goodness. That is my goal is to be a TSA agent. agent. Ooh, you could be a secret TSA agent. Yes. A secret agent lady or secret agent man. Um, so back along with pajamas, I will say bring at least one pair of sweatpants. Um, if that you get are cold. Gonna be warm. It's going to be cold out there. So if you yeah. are at all thinking of going outside in that coldness... For any reason, if you're picking up food from Grubhub or something like that when you're mm -hmm. ordering in, if you, you know, because there's only a limited amount of hours for food inside the host hotel. Right. If you're staying outside the host hotel and you got to walk oh, to yeah. the host hotel, these will save your legs. It'll be a lot better of a walk. Yeah, um, that's true. And dress, and dress warm because, yeah. I mean, it's Chicago. Like, also, they're just, having like a winter storm or something out there, right? Jacket. I don't know. Should always have a jacket, a and sweater, or something. That's the Taika Bulls one. This is. I'm very happy with it. Um, the quality of this jacket has been amazing. Um, it worn looks it up to, massive. I've worn it up to camping up in the mountains out here in Nevada. And yeah, there has a little pocket on the inside. And it's just so soft. They did a really, really, really good job with these. If you do get a chance to pick one up, I would highly suggest it. They are expensive, but you will understand when you see the quality of these things and you feel it for yourself of where that money goes. It's so thick. It's, it's ridiculous. Crazy. Like, like you're going to be sweating um, if, if yeah, you're wearing that yeah. indoors. <laughs> oh, yeah. You will. But this is, you know, like I said, you, you plan on going out. There's a little mall next door and everything, too. So... Of, of the host hotel and everything. So if you decide to go out to eat with some friends, yeah. just, just bring one, <clears throat> have it just on hand. Um, oh, so. and let's move that light over too. Let's just yeah. move it over to the side. And then we'll go through like what's in your bag yes. too. Oh, so I wait, decide so what's your lanyard going to say? What's Ooh. your bag um, going to say? I think I'm, I stick with the usual baby Donnie. Yeah. Um, just so everyone can... No, it's consistently my name, uh, but oh. I will put little... Oh, okay. You know what's funny? I don't think you know this, huh. but the way you're saved in my phone, yeah. it says Baby Donnie and then exclamation mark. Yeah, because you yell it. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no, it's, I feel like it's something you would do. Like, you I, I would do. <laughs> no, that that's how you would like sign your name. It's Baby Donnie with exclamation. And a star or a heart. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to see what this is my play bag that I'm bringing. Um, oh, yeah. I will bring one pack of wipes. If uh, TSA will pull them out if you have your carry on, if they have in your carry on. Oh. Um, I don't know why I think this is watery or something. Oh. Put them in your checked bag. You can put your carry on. They'll pull them out. Um, they shouldn't throw them away because it's not liquid. Yeah. But just letting you know, you might you might get stopped for that. And it's it. always good to have those just on hand, especially with those two diapers that I would say to bring if you're not getting them um, if you're getting bought out there or you're going to plan on buying some. Make sure you have. Uh, you're a passy. That one's so big. Look how I big know. it is. I got to set cap last year, I want to say. Wait, uh, I want to see that fit in your mouth. 
how long can you keep it in there? Until my jaw starts locking up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, now you have to like rinse it off again. I'm it's all sorry. Okay. I got to I, I gotta, uh, go through stuff and make sure it's all clean anyways. Um, I'll carry around my collar because I like wearing a play collar when I'm in little mode. It makes me feel more submissive and... I don't know. Like, so people kind of can know, too, of like, oh, yeah. this is a... a He's a baby. A baby slave or something. Um, I am bringing paddle with insertable end. Oof, that thing is so huge. That'll be fun you, to find someone to either get babysat by me. Wait, and, do you have someone in mind that you want to insert that in? Oh, there's a maybe? couple boys that have already set up... Um, Play times really with a film because oh. um, I'm looking for people to film with. Oh, I can't believe I'm gonna miss this. And faces oh. don't have to be shown. We could we could figure out different angles oh. to not show faces, but that's predominantly what I'm looking for because I want to put out some good content. And yeah. uh, if you've seen any of my videos, you know how fun I could be. How so fun. <laughs> uh, I do scare most people away but if you're on that extreme end then you will be happy to uh reach out to me but while you're you, out there but don't you ever have videos that aren't as extreme you do yeah i do but i mean if they could see how i am oh, don't forget the hat okay, i so, forgot about that yeah i did forget about this too so i'm bringing my little beanie hat because yeah. you need to keep your head warm when you're out there because you lose a bunch of um body heat throughout your head and your feet and stuff so it's important to have good socks too mm -hmm. if you do plan on having sexual play when you're out there make sure you have condoms um you can put lube in your check bag um or they have powder lube that you can buy um or that you can just oh. use like lotion i guess if I, you don't have anything I mean, you <laughs> but could, you just could, in case you could bring a small thing of lube in your um yeah carry just can't be above I mean, certain ounces yeah it's just 100 milliliters right i'll bring you my spreader bar yeah. uh, ugh. so in case i have to uh, this is for, me you and for any to. boy. Well, in case I have to restrain some boys or something like that because they're getting fussy or something from a spanking. That way they can't close their legs and I could like hold on oh, to the no. bar with my foot. And oh, no. And they can't get over, they can get away from my knee. Oh, no. That'll be fun. So, got that going. What if someone overpowers you and uses <laughs> it on you? Uh, some daddy. I don't know what you could say on. Uh, I guess you could say it. You can't rape the willing, right? But like in that sort of way, like you can't, like I'm, I want it, so it's like I'll be like, oh no. But you know, safe words are a very big plus, and communication is key. Yeah. So and consent too. Consent to everybody. Um, locking leather mittens. I think those will be fun too. So oh, cool. the boys and girls that I play with won't have any choice but to not be taking their diapers off. Yeah. Got a little. Um, yeah, um, what do you call it? Blindfold. <laughs> eye cover blindfold, yeah. Just to add to the sensory deprivation experience. Rope. Press some rope to tie the ends to or their wrists from these things to like maybe the end of the oh, bed yeah. so they can't like they're stretched out. Um, Did so you just, have that kind of play last Capcom? No. Summer camp? This, I'm bringing these, I'm bringing my lights, um, kind of setting it all up. And oh. this little dotty thing here, this little cane is for spanking in between thighs or maybe like right on the inner thighs mm -hmm. like that. So then after you spank really hard, your diaper rubs against it and it gets really painful. Oh, I can kiss that area better. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> or spanking naughty little holes. <gasps> like the like too. the bum hole? Mm -hmm. Or ow, pussies. Ow, ow, Some naughty ow, girls. No. Um but yeah, that's what I packed there because I would have brought more insertables, but this is an insertable in itself. Yeah. So that's the reason why I'm like, it's a two for one toy, which is a great thing to have. And I'm not trying to pack everything in itself. It's just so big. That's all. Like, I don't think right. that's going to fit most people. I feel well, like I don't know. I know it goes in me. Them. So that's all I'm happy about. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> and I also might bring my overall set that I got from Tykables. I mm. just do not know exactly where I put them at the moment. Oh, ha, uh, I lied. 
Oh, wait, is that your clean basket or your... Yeah, this is all clean. Oh. It just hadn't yeah. been folded, folded <laughs> or hung up because Great. it's like, oh, I need to leave to some other town or something. So these are the newest edition cute. of their um, short alls, yeah. which I really like because these ones are oh, not Velcro. snapped. They're Velcro. Yes. Which the snaps would always, especially having thicker thighs. Yes, it's hard. I will bend down to go pee or something. Yeah. And it's like, and like all the snaps. And I'm like, well, I mean, it's kind of cute because, you know, like people will be oh, I'll, I'll, do, I'll help you out and, and pop those back on there for you. But at the same time, it's just time consuming and it annoying is. every time right. you sit down or do anything that and they're hard to like put on too like honestly yeah. the snaps are yeah unless like well there has been some kind of like um changing times there's is this one there's um oh, one the onesies times. yeah there's come up in the, the front, front exactly which i really 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 like those. exactly he designed them that way so that That's it wouldn't great. like bother in between your leg in uh -huh. between your thighs because there are most companies will have them Directly in right the, in the middle, right in the middle. Oh, these ones are kind of in the front, too. That's oh, uh, that's good. Once he's down under, yeah. But yeah, I would think like doing stuff like that, or maybe even like um, having a crop top that'd be cute to have exposed diaper crop top. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good and you always bring setup. crop tops. Do you are yeah. you bringing any crop tops? Like, do you have them packed? Well, or are you no, like them? I said, this is kind of we're doing a little pack as you go right now oh okay so maybe course, something like that, that too yeah. and you know these aren't going to be um and i might bring this one for a long sleeve oh okay for another onesie so probably so maybe two onesies and two and to four depending top. on are you going to be a little every day do you have to you know be a big at all or something like that which hopefully you don't if this is what you're one to experience just have that immersive baby time um but you know you have to have normal clothes to walk through the airport and stuff too so just keep in mind oh, what you're packing so are you packing. so how much um big time are you gonna have at the con? i'm how gonna do more time? big boy time in the beginning of capcon um and then having more little boy time at the end. So mm -hmm. maybe a day or two max is, is big boy time. And then the rest of the time will just be complete baby. Just yeah. so I can immerse myself yeah. and have that. But I do want to be the daddy to give that back to some of the boys and girls that are coming. And, you know, it's fun for them to, uh, to experience um, having someone that knows how to make it a more genuine uh fun time right yes exactly because i'm sure there are some boys and girls who have never had that right and, um, and i want to make sure that they experience that and it's important for for those of us that can provide that to okay. you know to be able to give that and so, give it full heartedly and so you're going to be there wednesday to sunday is sunday a yes. full day for you I leave in the afternoon, I want to say on Sunday. Oh, okay. um, so you're going to miss the closing I, ceremonies and stuff. Um, I might. Yeah. I'd have to look at my schedule to be exact, but I get in, I want to say around 3 p.m. Wednesday. On Wednesday, because okay. I don't leave here until 11, I want to say. Oh, okay. I leave Vegas at 11. Oh, let's see. Do you have, like, specific plans to play with it? Some I like I said I have a couple boys already that have requested some playtime slash filming. Yay. Um I will do some limited play on play without the camera, but um I'm you know I said I'm really looking to film a lot as much yeah. as I can and uh be able to give back to the community through that sort of um that sort of media. Yeah. <laughs> uh but yeah, it's it's been really fun getting to meet a lot of littles. I was out in Palm Springs at Hot Seat Retreat this past weekend. Wait, there were littles there? Lots. Why? I probably ran into like uh, maybe a good like ten or wow. fifteen littles over there. Wow. Like we even had a party at the Barracks, which is a, a gay leather bar. Yeah. And there were boys in full 
diapers and <gasps> onesies walking around. And um, I saw a lot of boys holding stuffed animals. Cute. And this is like they were walking around um, Cathedral City Boys Club yeah. like that as well. So it was nice to have that representation. I saw a lot of ABU hats nice. of people walking around with, you know, they look inconspicuous, but uh, yeah. you know, you know what to look for. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, I met a lot of cool people. Some of them, like I had run into again, um, for instance, we were doing that. We were doing a photo shoot last year at Capcom yeah. uh, for Crinkles yeah. diapers, the new ones that came out. Mm -hmm. And while we were waiting for the photographer to finish up with um, all the littles that want to take pictures mm -hmm. before during picture time, um, a little had approached me and challenged me to an arm wrestling. Oh match. my goodness! And so we, it was. <laughs> it was. It was like there was a bunch of us around in this little hallway waiting area downstairs and everyone circles around as we're uh, doing an arm wrestle on a table and I'm like I cannot lose to this baby and so I made sure I didn't lose but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was still close because I was like wow he's pretty strong like let me this would be embarrassing if I lost in front of a bunch of littles like this and uh, they would tease you and so you know, so I'm like, oh this ain't happening <laughs> so I'm like I gotta be a strong baby and so I did so oh, I ran into him out there um uh, I ran into uh some of his friends as well and cool. so it was really good to um I don't know, to talk a lot and just share my experiences with things and yeah. um and so it was really good to see that like that representation out there in a different part of a different kink. Yes. Um I love and, it. It's so important. And it's good to see this because then you'll run to them again in different areas and it's just we're all a big like family, but it's like such a small world of things that you just don't realize it until you've been around for a little bit. And you're right. like, Holy crap, like I know you from here, I know you from there and um that's yeah. so good that was fun oh, oh and then also yes i'm gonna share my little uh certificates that i got <gasps> i'll say thank you to abu for having oh, me okay. out there okay, i went out that's to good. the baltimore um warehouse uh -huh. um this was earlier this month mm -hmm. and we got to build the little build a box thing with different diapers and the staff there was amazing they helped us all out let us take pictures use the changing room area where they had um it was called dogs in space but i thought it was like corgis in space because it was a bunch of corgis when i saw it oh it's a cute little cartoon i had never heard of it sidetrack real quick but that was playing in the nursery so it was it was nice to have that immersive experience both visually auditory and sensory oh. of being a little and oh. being a baby so but when you go there um i got my shipping ninja in training pants certificate yeah and then you also got to wear a hard hat yeah and, and a, like a, a, a vest a vest that like had reflectors on yeah it. construction and vest i thought thing. it was hilarious because i was like okay i know this is like play and stuff because i was like we're not required to wear shoes <laughs> or, or steel toe <laughs> boots you know where's osha on this one <laughs> um and this one is um not a big kid yet says you're a star but not a big kid yet you still need nappies day and night this certifies that donnie attempted potty training but didn't Aww. quite make it maybe next time kiddo kept in diapers 24 7 but oh, i thought this was goodness. they let us put our little draw our names on yeah. them and then laminated and for you. they laminated it was that's really, crazy this is fun so i want to get little frames yes. and put them up in here so like my uh diplomas or something yeah almost. Like, your potty failing potty failing so thank you again to abu you guys are amazing <laughs> and i'll see you guys out there at capcon yeah. But you're going to miss the ABU pre-Capcom party I on know. Tuesday I guess night. That's Tuesday night. It is. Yeah. Well, I needed to get some of my own sleep. I've only been out here in Vegas for like five days this month. So I need my time to pack mm -hmm. up, do laundry, yeah. sleep in my own bed and snore until noon and then get up and get sushi and, you know, go yep. to the gym. And then you have four days of being a baby. Yep. Yep, and then uh, on to the next one after that. But this is, 
I'm really excited about Capcom, and this is going to be an amazing year. Oh, are there classes you're excited about, or like you specific know, I, events? I really want to spend more time um, in the play areas this year. Mm -hmm. I do want to attend some of the classes, but um, I need to go through the schedule again to see like yeah. when they start, when they end, and then plan out as well with my filming and stuff like that and dinner that. times because I'm always a hungry boy. You so, are. You get hangry. I do. And so if anything, you know, I'll make whatever work, whatever work. But The Nerf Wars, the Nerf Gun Wars. Oh, right? yeah. yeah. They Not provide all that stuff. stuff there, which is cool. Yeah. So you don't have to pack anything yeah. like that. Um, I do want to go to the Dark Age play thing because I didn't get to go last year. What? No. Why? It was just... I was in the middle of playing with other people mm. and then other people came in and it just happened that I was like, well, I guess I'll just keep going here. And so, right. that's what I did. yeah, yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this year, that's what I really want to attend or like different play things. Yeah. Like, just hang out with my friends that I haven't seen and, yeah. you know, just catch up and I don't know, just change a bunch of diapers yeah. and, uh, <sighs> I yeah. want to be there to be, like, the official, like, diaper changer. Well, you're going to give me some of your stickers, right, to pass out, or is that going to happen? Maybe. Okay. Well, we'll see. <laughs> you just leave comments so that Diaper Perf will, like, send me some. <laughs> okay. Give me some, and so I could, like... We'll have to do it, like, right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, because you're going to... Because this video yeah. is coming out, and then you're going to leave. Yeah, I'll just follow you so. over your house. Okay. All right. I'll follow you home. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Yep. And make sure you leave comments and concerns to Diaper Perv because concerns. I don't need to hear them. <laughs> 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 and I will see y'all in Chicago. Bye.